Hello friends, the behavior of our body is changing. Being an ophthalmologist, even eye is changing with this new environment, the new ecosystem, the food we eat, the work we do, the amount of exercise we put in, the amount of junk food we eat, everything has a huge impact on the outcome of a disease. The role of a clinician or a surgeon has to expand beyond its comfort zone. When you look out of box, you probably find different pathways of a disease. So today's video is about a clinician's journey to scientific research. We call it clinician translation scientist. We at Narayan Netralaya are very fortunate to have such great machines which helps patient to give great vision and also predict the outcomes perfectly. We as surgeons always think and pray that our skill and the machines will take care of everything. But there are times where it does not help. And what really helps is understanding the whole genetics, biology, the protein, the cells. And that's what where we need research. Many of what we normally discard after a surgery, we preserve it. When you preserve this, Let's assume this is preserved, labeled, and goes to my lab. These things can be analyzed. It's like you take it out and plug into a proper machine. It's like plugging in your pen drive, and it just gets your whole health of many, many things gets into your system. How does it help? It helps to customize. It helps to figure out if there's any illness. When we as clinicians and surgeons encounter many unknown phenomena, we need to knock the door of research to uncover those unknown. So I have described today about as surgeons and clinicians, what we can do in our clinician rooms, in our OT, in a clinical diagnostic room, but to uncover the unknown we need to rush to the lab. We need to rush to the scientists to see how we can uncover that's hidden. Let's go. The future of medicine is how you can combine the research with your clinical domain. The great advancement in research has helped us to convert this knowledge to how you can treat your patients better. We at Narayan Netralaya are very fortunate to have a fantastic team of scientists helping the clinicians, surgeons like me to answer questions, to customize surgeries, to prevent, to improvise, to educate things on a body which probably would not be possible if you link the research with clinical science. Let me take you to our domain of science and a surgeon, where we link both of them to see if we can bring in the clinical advantages of both. These are, I call the pyramids of our research. They are, they are my pyramids because all the mummified samples are kept here for me and clinicians and scientists like us to go back and start working on it so that can help each one of you. So what I'm going to show today is how at NN we are using the research to make the treatment more customized. Whenever we collect the tissue samples, uh, maybe tears, or whether you go from the retina, we all try to store in this minus 80 degrees uh, space. When we see in this minus 80 degree space, a lot of these samples are kept in these kind of boxes. 
when we these kind of boxes come to a lab and we use certain very advanced techniques to analyze all that samples which are there in this box and it get reaches back to my clinic and then I sit with my patients and my colleagues and we discuss and what treatment would be the best approach to treat your particular disease. It's important because when you preserve the samples, you're able to retrieve them back. If you're able to pick them, we can bring in new drug discoveries, we can create new treatment plans, we can address the aspect of disease better. So when we take those uh, small mummified tubes from those fridge view seed, we bring them out and when we bring them out, each one of them have been labeled and these labeling helps us to look at what kind of people, what kind of a patient, what kind of an issue we are facing and there are a lot of samples out here which can be put in machines like these. There are many of them. These are the ones which helps me to give an answer to the questions I'm asking. Proteins are the building blocks of cells. Proteins are necessary for our survival. When there are abnormal proteins, which are not necessary to be in the cell, in the body, this has a huge implications in how we behave in disease and health. These technologies today helps us to understand what are the proteins which are showing abnormalities and how you can rectify them at a very, very early stage. I'm talking about at a stage where you have not even got a disease. The whole idea is to try to combine predictive and preventive care into medicine. One of the greatest innovation in understanding research is how you are able to image or how you creating an image of a cell. This is more like imagine doing a MRI scan of one single cell. It's so microscopic in nature and trying to go inside it and say how it functions. Let's look at this. This is one of the cells and look at this. When, when you have stress on the cells, the cells try to die away. And these cells, we are able to image it. And there's such a beautiful set of tools which helps us to understand a functioning of a cell factory. It's very important because a cell factory is the one which is necessary to be alive, kicking, and create all kinds of uh, protective environment for us. Every tissue when we take out of your eye needs to be studied. Everything needs to be identified. A very good pathology is very important. Good pathologist helps a good clinician to decide what he did was right or wrong. And that is a very important keystone in managing a patient. Genetics are the reason why we are what we are. Genetics, like in this beautiful diagram, helps us to define us in both in health and disease. So if your genetics has issues inherited or which you created over time, the body does not respond to the way you want it. So we at Narayan Netralia Grow Lab have built one of the most advanced genetics lab in the world. Genetics helps to predict. It can help to pick up things which is completely unusual. There's not many places across the world which can do it. And we're very proud that the entire system has been created by the team at Narayana Etheraya and Grow Lab to treat the genes which are abnormal and fix it. And this is going to be the reality. The next decade is going to be the decade of repair and regeneration. Genetics is all about repair.
and that's where I'm going to show you now. This is how the gene therapy whole setup looks. This is where we are going to create our genetics related therapies which involves creating virus. The virus are required to go into the cell and then you have to treat the genes. It's a fantastic system and it's so exciting to see that at one point of time we'll be able to treat many genetic diseases in this world today. The work of making the cells grow and reprogramming is called as regenerative medicine, also called as stem cell medicine. We have built a very robust stem cell department. It's been for the last 13 to 14 years now. We've been able to grow multiple cells, but we have taken it in a different level now. We want to make a cell from your blood. That means those cells are called iPSC cells. These pluripotent cells can be grown from your blood or bone marrow or skin and you can grow them in, in areas like this and you can convert them into any cell you want. In the eye, our team has been working on developing one layer of cell called endothelial cells when it gets damaged in the cornea, people go to corneal blindness and you may need transplant. We are trying to see if we are able to generate the cells, grow them and transplant just like in small injection into the eyes. Will it work? What started many years back, say 20, 25 years back is now showing fruits. So we are happy that we are in that league. We are happy that we are in that position to make these cells function. And that's a promise we want to give it to our patients through this kind of research. So what I have in hand is something Narayan Netra is proud of. It's we call lab on chip. A simple fluid, you know, which we collect from your tears or inside the eye or any cell, which is preserved in, in this kind of tubes can be taken out and these fluid can get into these kind of wells and when you plug it in, you get the entire immuno profiling of a person. When a person comes to us with unexplained issues in his vision, there is swelling in your retina, the glaucoma is progressing, there's a dry eye or your keratoconus, the answers can lie in these kind of technologies and these are all developed patented by us and these are the future of how medicine is going to be practiced. <laughs>